Hello everyone! So today is just a short video to talk about the upcoming SSR selectors uh, that we're going to have, uh, starting with the Rose event. So there are two selectors um, that basically let you choose any unit or memoria you want. There's one for SSR memoria and there is one for three star characters. Um, the SSR memoria one is free to everyone. Everyone gets this and you will be able to choose two SSR memoria and maybe even three. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to choose those only from the release pool of Memoria, however, so not any of the recent limited ones. However, there is also the character selector. So the character selector, it's 72 hours limited. And after the update tonight, the Roseval update, um, you will have 72 hours to decide whether or not you want to buy this or not um, from the first time you enter the gotcha screen, the wish screen. So. All new accounts get this as well, um, even if they're made in a couple months, I believe. Um, and yeah, just 72 hours, it's very limited, um, and it's a really it's a really good deal. Honestly, I highly recommend it if you can afford it. It's 6,500 paid gems total, so you know, you do step one, you get 10, you get a 10 pull for 3,000 paid gems, and then the next one is free and you get a selector for a three-star character, and then you get two more temples for 2,000 and 1,500 paid gems, and then the last one is another uh, selector. So you can get two three-star characters, um, but it only lasts for 72 hours. You also get 25 legend medals for the entire thing, which is pretty cool. Um, what it's going to look like is this. So this is a screen from the JP version. It's a little bad quality, but that's fine. So yeah, we have step one, 3000 gems, then you choose a character. The next two steps, you choose a character. Uh, currently, uh, if you haven't bought the paid two times packs for gems, 6,000 paid gems is 40 USD. So you're going to be running about $45 to buy this, which is a pretty good deal for 30 pulls and two guaranteed characters. And I highly recommend it. Now, which characters should you choose? I'm sure you're wondering. Um, and in my opinion, so the cool thing about this is that it should have every character up to the Christmas banner if it works the same way as JP, which means you have a lot of powerful characters to choose from, not just the base release characters. Um, and in my opinion, if you don't have them, the two characters you should pick no matter what are Izana and Liddy. Liddy is the best supporter in the game, Izana is the best attacker in the game, and Liddy and Izana as well have really good synergy together because of Liddy's pa passive that affects both attackers. So if you don't have either of these characters, you should pick either one or both of them. Period. That's my opinion. Like, you should not choose anyone else. Um, and then for, you know, anyone else, um, there's a few options that I think are worth mentioning if you do already have these characters. For one, Ryza, Master Ryza, Slash Breaker Ryza, very, very strong area breaker, very good character. Um, she does really powerful debuffs, and she's really good at stunning. She's just a very strong character in general. Uh, Christmas Resna as well, very strong attacker, and also has the all-important skill power gift that links to um, Totori. Uh, I think after Izana and Liddy, she would be the highest priority for me personally because her skill power gift is so good, and also her passive is quite good. You can run her as a pseudo supporter for some things because you can scale her passive with damage buffet. Uh, and she's just a good area burster in general with guaranteed crits on her burst. So Christmas Resin is very strong. Um, I'd probably put her third, and then Ryza maybe fourth or so. Um, if you want to do Roman tournaments in the future with like uh, Roseval or you're planning on getting Roseval, Ample is an absurdly strong character. He is the best supporter for physical teams. Um, well, not the best. Flock and whatever kind of like better, but he the amount of damage he gives is unmatched. He just doesn't heal, but giving like a hundred percent increased physical attack to your physical attackers is really, really crazy. So Ample is a super strong character, especially if you're planning on doing physical teams or any sort of Roman tournament stuff in the future, Ample is super high priority. Um, and those are basically the five I would recommend. Um, all, all of those characters are very good. As far as um, other options are, if you already have these characters, 
Patty is the strongest pure defender in the game. She is, of course, stronger than Totori defensively. She just doesn't give the damage buff, and she doesn't have... She does have a good synthesis gift, but it's not, like, as required as Totori's. Um, Leela is a very, very strong single target breaker. She's used quite a bit, and you do need a good single target breaker, especially if you have, like, New Year's Mari as well. She's very good. Um, and then big honorable mention to Ellie. Uh, I only... I, I don't recommend Ellie at all for just about anyone, and especially if you don't have New Year's Mari. But when we do get the leader skill buff at the beginning of July... Ellie will be a strong complement to a New Year Mari team. So if you have New Year's Mari, you like using New Year's Mari, Ellie is a consideration um, if you don't have her because she is very strong on the New Year's Mari team due to giving Mari a ton of magic attack and vanguard. Um, but overall, I don't really recommend her. She's just kind of a last resort thing. Um, Flash Valeria, also quite good. She still holds up as a single target burst attacker. Um, especially for certain things like Slash Roman Tournament, and there's I, I use her occasionally on JP. She's never really fallen off for her niche. Um, and I don't really recommend Sophie. I don't think Sophie's that good anymore. Like, she's still usable on Global, but in a few months, like, she's kind of just sort of crapped by a lot of the different tools we have and stuff, and as a defender, she just doesn't have enough damage reduction. She's not strong enough defensively, so I don't really recommend picking Sophie here unless you really like her. Um, she kind of falls off pretty hard in my opinion, so. But yeah, Lydia and Izana for sure. If you don't have either of them, they are so strong. Um, and then really Patty, Ample, and Ryza are the next three, but you can make an argument for Leela being up there, Patty being up there. They're both really, really strong characters. Um, and Everyone past that, like, if you already have all of the best characters, I mean, pick whoever you want, right? Um, but yeah, L Lydia and Izana, I cannot say enough, like, how strong they are. And Izana also is one of the strongest attackers for Roman Tournament as well. Um, so if you want to compete in Roman Tournament, absolutely, Lydia, Izana, and Ample are the most important characters from here. So, yeah, that's about it for the character selector. Now, what about the Memoria selector? So this one's pretty important because it's free to everyone. Uh, you will get two SSR Memoria of your choice for just the half year anniversary event. Um, and also, apparently, the trial challenge for the Strike Tower has Memoria exchange tickets in it as well. So it's seeming like we're going to get three. On JP, we only got two, but this is new content to Global. So it looks like we're going to get three. I will make a guide for this Strike Tower challenge as well uh, when it comes out. And you have a little over, you have like five, six weeks or something to complete it. It's a long time. So definitely we'll be able to, especially at level 80, it shouldn't be that hard, even if it requires up to like floor five or six or something. Uh, with level 80, it shouldn't be too bad. You have a lot of time to complete this. But yeah, this is very cool. There's a lot of really strong Memoria. Um, however, it is only release pool Memoria. And I don't know. A lot of them aren't great, but there's also a lot that are pretty good. Now, as far as the release Memoria goes, it's any of the ones available um, in the Atelier Fest. So I'm just looking right here. It's not this one, but... All the rest of these are what you can choose from and you can only pick one of each you can't pick multiple of the same one and the one thing i have to say about this is everyone should pick it's time to study it doesn't matter how many copies you have you should pick this you don't have enough copies of this until you have like 10. like straight up no matter how many copies you think you have it's not enough and if you don't have any you definitely want it it's 12 it's 11 speed first of all with good defensive stats and its effect is skill damage when equipped to a supporter. This is really, really, really powerful. Um, it's only up to 15%, but it's still really, really good, especially because you need the speed for a lot of comps, for a lot of teams. So very, very strong here. You definitely want to try to get this to rank 5 if you can. Really, really powerful Memoria, and everyone should pick one copy of this one. For your second and third Memoria, though, it's, it's a lot more competitive. Um, there's a lot of bad ones, like all these ones that give healing, give recovery, they're not very good. Um, 
Obviously this one that's based on burn, it's not very good. You shouldn't really pick this. Uh, but there's some options. In my opinion, if you don't have a copy of a 6% magic attack Memoria, you should pick this one up. But if you already have it, it's not worth getting because the effect is stun damage. You put this on attackers. You don't really want to, uh, you don't really want to get this for its effect. So rank one of this is fine. If you already have it, don't get it. If you don't have it, it's definitely, uh, competitive. If you don't have a 6% speed magic attack Memoria, because Memoria are really nice for speed tuning. So it's good to have options. Um, uh, one really good one is this one, A Time Just for Two. It's a magic attack statted Memoria with a good effect where it boosts skill damage by 52% when HP is 70% or higher. So it doesn't care about the element of the character, which is really nice. It works for every single magic attacker, which makes it really nice to have multiple copies of. Uh, so especially if you already have copies of this, this is a really nice one to pick up an extra copy of. The only problem with this is that this effect does not scale with damage buff A like a lot of other damage memoria effects. Uh, so that's one downside to this one. However, outside of Roman tournament and most comp, like outside of Roman tournament, most comps aren't going to really care about that. So this will still be good to have multiple copies of for general content. Um, another one that's really good is my partner. This is really good for Master Ryza because it boosts stun damage for slash characters. It does have a lot of speed, which is sometimes good, sometimes annoying on her. But if you have like multiple copies of this already, it's really, really good for Master Ryza if you have her. So definitely recommend for her. Um, and then in general, just any of the like damage or speed ones that you already have multiple copies of, like of course, Speed Memoria are already always a good consideration so this fierce one with the 11 percent speed once again very good however we will be getting a bunch of free speed memoria soon as well they'll be handing out five like kind of bad speed memoria but they have 11 percent speed so if you just need 11 percent speed memoria um this one's a bit worse than time to study because it's like lower magic attack uh, but it is good on like academy resna in the future uh for speed tuning if you have multiple copies of it so if you're like going all in on the academy setup this isn't necessarily a bad memoria for her uh for certain situations but it's not her best memoria either and then other than that really good considerations are just any of the generic general damage memoria based on what attackers that you like to use a lot or how many copies you have of each like this is for fire skill damage and then there's a bunch of physical ones like striking it rich is for stab skill damage Shoot for the Sky is for slash skill damage, so. But, yeah. And then there's also this one for weakness skill damage. Um, this also doesn't scale with damage buffet, but it does have 30% uh, physical attack. It's not bad on, like, Rose Foul, but it's also not her best either, so. There's, there's a lot of considerations. There's a lot of bad ones, too. Uh, but to summarize, it's time to study. Everyone should get this. Period. You should absolutely get this then a time just for two really really good to have multiple copies of um one of my favorite memoria in the general pool it's just sad that it doesn't scale with the damage buff trait but that's not going to be relevant to most people and then my partner very good for slash riza and those are kind of the top three um but other considerations of course fierce and then any just general like damage memoria and once again, this one, if you don't have copies of it. So it's very much dependent on your own box, um, but I wouldn't really pick any of the defensive ones. Mostly just go for damage here. So damage or speed, basically. And that's about what I recommend for that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the upcoming selectors. They're really good, really powerful. And if you do have the money to spare, uh, the paid selector for two characters is absolutely the best value for your paid gems. So highly recommend to pick that up. Hope you all get lucky with your upcoming pulls. Hope you all get characters that you've been wanting for a while. I know I will. And thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.